Well, 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 and I thought Windows 11 will never exist. Here we are. So, yeah, I just upgraded to Windows 11 like an hour ago. And here's the thing. I'm running it on a quote-unquote unsupported CPU because my CPU does not have TPN 2.0 and I don't even have Secure Boot on, or do I? I I'm not sure. So... Here's the CPU I'm running on, Xeon E5 2667v2, and that is uh, on the Intel X79 motherboard, and yeah, and the architecture is Ivy Bridge E. Hope I get that right. If not, feel free to uh, make sure I'm wrong in the comments. So, what are my uh, pins on UI so far? I actually love it a lot better than Windows 10. Because Windows 10 UI, I hated it. It was so plain and bland. But here we got some style. And now this UI is almost there to being like impressive. But still, oh, it's just not super great. I'd say it's a, you know, good, but you know, not super good. And you know, I kind of like the start menu here. It's, it's calming, you know? Desktop icons have not changed. Oof. So, how did I manage to bypass the system requirements from Windows 10 to Windows 11 using an quote unquote unsupported CPU? Well, I downloaded this thing called Media Creation Tool .bat means it, and I'll I'll put the file. It's a GitHub. Uh, it's on GitHub, and I'll put it in the link in the description. So what I did was, uh, I need to get 7-sip working here. Again, it's my first time using uh, Windows 11, so yeah, I'm new to some of its changes, you know? Uh, yeah, I have a slow hard drive on there. It's a 5400 BP uh, RPM drive here so yeah it's, it's slow but the CPU runs absolutely fine because on another hard drive I have Linux Mint installed and that hard drive is uh, not laggy and slow yeah the CPU it, it's a powerhouse so yeah despite the fact it's a nine-year-old 2012 CPU yeah okay now get back to it what I did was a uh, after I unzipped it I opened the folder yeah, Windows 11 appears to work a little slower than Windows 10. Windows 10 was pretty slow, but it's just because of the hard drive. It's nothing else. And then I click this MCT. And then what I did was uh, I ran skip TPN check on dynamic update v2 on a administrator. I open it on a, I run it as administrator. And that's how I bypassed. Yeah, I will proceed to give you more examples on a UI change. Okay, nothing much has changed there, but it's good. And now I have to find out, will the apps work well with Windows 11? So, here's my first example. Audacity has extremely low system requirements. I think it's like one gigabyte of RAM at least, and uh, like a 2008 pain team at least to run Audacity. Like, Audacity is like a low resource app. And, you know, doesn't require a, you know, a powerful processor to run it. So, literally, you can run Audacity well on an HP stream, and you know how low spec those HP streams are, definitely don't game on there. I'm running Audacity 2.42 because I'm not going to have my telemetry data collected by Muse. Screw those guys. Alright, now to see if Audacity will work okay, I'm going to record some audio and then I'll put some effects on my audio. Test, one, two, three. Okay, now we're going to play it back. So, 
Let's change its speed to about 0.77. So now speed will be at 77%. And then we can do a sliding stretch. We can do a 100% change and a negative uh, 6 semitone change. So I'll see how this runs now. And let's add about uh, 10 decibels of bass and uh, about negative 10 uh, decibels of treble. Okay, let's run it. Yay! I thought he actually works well on here. So here we have is Forza Horizon 4 running on Windows 11, running on a quote unquote unsupported CPU, despite the fact that Forza Horizon 4 works very well with the CPU I have right now on Windows 10. So yeah, this is a Microsoft app and I got it from a Windows Store, so it's a Windows Store app. So yeah, first I'll try this Windows Store game, and then next, the next game I'm gonna try for Windows 11 is uh, from Steam, and it will be Grand Theft Auto 5. Let's go for a test run. Oh yeah, that's right, this is United Kingdom. You have to go on the left side of the road. Wow. I don't see any lag at all, like barely any lag. It works so well, I'm running this on 1080p Ultra, on an RX 580, 4GB. I'm not sure if I built this car for offering or not, but it seems to do the job. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Okay, okay good, it was, it was not a hitbox. I ruined that combo. Okay. Here we are. We are in the desert. Wee! All right, let's get back on the road now. Okay. 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 How about five minutes? Wow, I was close. Ah. Uh, did that end? I didn't know it was. <laughs> oh well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean. I mean. To be fair, I'm playing this on a big 42 inch screen TV anyway. So. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Move, cows. So here we have Grand Theft Auto 5 running on Steam at 1080p, and you may not hear the desktop audio. I choose to uh, turn it off on OBS, but don't worry, the game audio on uh, both games will work perfectly fine, and it seems to be just clear and clean. Oh yeah, watch out. Yeah, uh... Franklin can't afford a vehicle, so what does he do? Well, since it's a video game, I can just do a car like that, and uh, nothing will really happen to me except uh, in the game, it only affects the game, so everything seems to work. Not right now, Lamar. I'm busy doing a joyride. Speeding, endangering many civilians here, alright? To be fair, it's pretty hard to drive a Grand Theft Auto 5 due to the rough vehicle physics. Yep, it's a hit and run. And now what about web browsing? I'm going to test two things. Browsing the web and video playback. So, 
here we have on YouTube a 4K60 video and I put it on the quality right here exactly how it is. So let's test it out. Now I'll remind you, this is on a slow hard drive on Windows 11. However, since <clears throat> it has a mid-range GPU from 2018 and a powerful nine-year-old CPU that can still work for 2021 standards, it seems to do the job. And this is good. Now, let's browse Bandcamp. The only question here is, is it possible? That's all I want to know. Because remember, this also has, you know, we're also, it also has a Wi-Fi, and you know, it's not on the computer. You know, it's completely separate from itself. Because you could have a, an amazing computer but horrible Wi-Fi, or you could have amazing Wi-Fi but a horrible computer. And so far, Windows 11 seems to browse the web pretty fine, actually. So what are my thoughts on Windows 11? Well, let me recap this. I'm impressed with its UI change that is much better than Windows 10 and seems to be good, actually. Gaming works well. Apps are slower than Windows 10, though. But video playback seems to be actually neat. And now let's talk about how well does the Xeon E5 2667V2 from Intel X79 using the architecture Ivy Bridge E work on Windows 11. It seems to work as fine as if it was on Windows 10 and I don't see any reason it's not supported, honestly.